I'm back. <laughs> wow, man, five or six weeks now uh, without a project video. It's got five maybe. Nuts. I finally put up a video uh, about the, one of the, my three tables. I built three folding tables. Not one, not two, three. Check them out. That's the big one right there. This is like a patio style table. High enough that you could sit at it and with a couple of bar stools and have a drink or something with a friend and then it unfolds into four. I just put out the video on this one with plans. This is the uh, triangle top table. I wasn't real happy with the way these triangles came out, but with a little bit more messing around, it could have been better and I just didn't, I'm getting tired of building these, so. But this one is more designed for kids. When this one folds out, the, actually the top, or this, the top here becomes the seats. And that works out pretty good and it's perfect for, you know, kids between the ages of like 8 and 14 or so. And then of course there's the troublemaker here that I've changed the design on a dozen, half a dozen times or better. And this is, this one's really cool and I, I'm going to do the video on this one later this week. And maybe later this, maybe later than that I'll get this one out, I'm not sure yet. I, I'm not quite sure how that's all going to play out, but man, I have had a lot of fun building these. But I am so ready to move on. <laughs> so it was, real, it was a lot of fun challenging myself. I really wanted to, to design those in SketchUp before I built them. And that's really what that was all about for me. It was about you know learning some more programs to put really good plans together. And I'm pretty happy with the way the plans are coming out. I think I'll probably tweak them a little bit as I go along and get a little bit more experience with it. But I really try and lay them out nice and user friendly. So that's been fun and exciting and a great learning process. The tables were a lot of fun, but I, I'm still ready to get back to some jigs and some drill powered stuff. And I do have some furniture projects coming up here pretty quick. I got to build some furniture projects for Steve. Uh, Steve's doing a, uh, the, um, what is that called? The Flower Festival in Somerville, uh, South Carolina. And he was asking if I could uh, throw a few projects towards him. So I'm going to do that. And then I got some projects to build for a furniture dealer up in uh, Traverse, so I'll be doing that too. So there's lots of fun stuff going to be happening behind the scenes here, and I'm definitely going to be looking at doing some more uh, the drill-powered stuff, the drill-powered drill station. I've been getting some questions about that. Oscillating spindle sander. I was hoping to have those tables done last week with the plans up and then doing it this week, but it looks like it's going to be another week out. So I'm going to do that real quick. And then uh, just lots more fun stuff coming down the pipe. And uh, the drill powered, uh, the drill powered workstation still a go, still working on it. Um, just took a little break to do these tables and hone my SketchUp and plan making skills. And um, so that's you know lots of stuff happening here, good stuff. And I'm, I'm back now. I'll be back posting videos every week again, two or three videos, one video, whatever I can manage that week. Uh, the schedule right now with my wife, she's got inventory at work, so it's like all wonky. So I'm not sure exactly what, what, how much time I'll have in the shop over the next few weeks, but I know I'll, I'll have enough to make some videos and get them out there and kind of get back to the random crazy izziness of all of, of all of it. So uh, lots of fun stuff going on. There's some really cool stuff happening behind the scenes that involve uh, woodworking in America coming up in September. So if you uh, if you keep watching our videos, we'll. Our videos will be talking about that here pretty quick, and um, let's see what else. Oh, and Venables. Uh, car. And Venables contacted me, and I believe they contacted a few other woodworkers about uh, testing out some of their, their CNC machine. They make a small CNC machine called a Shapeoko 2. And um, boy, they were real, they were generous about just, you know, here, try it out, please do a a review of it and blah 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 so I said yes of course and they're sending that my way that'll be here sometime this week or early next week and I went ahead and I got the upgrade kit because the bed of it the way it comes is like I don't know 12 by 18 or something like that the work the how much size you can actually mill so I got the big I, I paid for the upgrade to get a bigger bed so my intention is to set that up pro, you know because I'm a woodworker mo you know the show is about woodworking so my intention is really to set that up for woodworking, you know, and, and just test it out and see how it does. And I'm excited about seeing how that goes. So uh, that's a pretty cool thing that's happening here. I got a new table saw. Check it out. <laughs> do, 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 do. Got my think on there. Yeah. Think on the front. So this is the uh, Delta uh, table saw. I, I 
I, if you follow me on Facebook, I, I'd actually talked about, I, I posted a couple of videos when I was setting this up and I had some trouble with the fence. I was a little bit disappointed. Okay, maybe a little more than a little bit, but um, the, the clip down here on the backside ended up being the problem. I ended up manufacturing a new one, a, a little bit heavier duty one. So I made a bigger one, made some adjustments so I could move it in and that solved it. You know, the fence is not a problem, it's rock solid. So super happy with it. Really user friendly as far as setting up. It was really easy to set up. Uh, this is the first time I've ever bought an inexpensive table saw like this that's set up so quickly and so easily. Um, I was really impressed with that. You know, obviously on these saws they have that really thin um, insert. I hate those. Uh, rigid back, oh, I don't know, 10 or 15 years ago, used to have to have the full half inch, you know, inset for the inserts. And I wish they would bring that back because that's, you know, it's a lot easier for uh, us woodworkers to make our own plates and that sort of thing. And that's probably why they did this because it's just not, <laughs> it's just not as easy to make safe, safe uh, inserts this way. So um, I'll definitely be messing around with that and making some inserts for it. So uh, I had some problems with that little craftsman I had shoved through a piece of plywood and rather than fixing it, it was just a switch, rather than fixing it I just decided to go out and um, get this because uh, I got some projects coming down the pipe where I really need a, a better performing and a much more accurate uh, saw. So this was the, uh, the alternative. Um, I have been looking around for a big cabinet saw and I'm a 14 inch 7 horse. I've got some slab wood in storage back home and at some point when I get that saw I'm gonna I'm gonna bring that down and do some pretty wild projects so um, you know but I'm, I'm patient so I'll just keep looking. I've been looking for seven eight months now and I, man a saw like that like a Powermatic of that size costs over seven grand and I'm I'm not spending seven thousand dollars on a saw. So I've been watching tax, tax auctions and Craigslist and, you know, all that stuff. And I, just, I, I went and looked at one. The guy wanted 4200 for it. And it was, it was, I don't know, it was in a little bit rougher shape than, than, than $4,200 is worth. So I, I offered him thirty five, and he said no. So I said no. Um, but, you know, I'll just keep looking. When, when one comes up, I'll go pick it up. So... Uh, and I'll, uh, when that happens, we'll have some fun projects. But for now, this saw will do just fine, I think. And I'm, I'm happy with the fence. I picked this saw over the rigid. I know this saw and the rigid are the two popular, you know, hybrid saws for uh, garage shops and that sort of thing. But I, I've always, I've owned two rigids now. One was bought brand new 10 years ago, uh, maybe a little less than 10 years ago. No, about 10 years ago. And then... Um, I got one used, I, I just couldn't pass up on the deal, otherwise I wouldn't have bought it, um, for like 200 bucks, and this was, that's the one you guys saw, if you've been following me for a while, a year or so ago, I had that in my shop, uh, but I never liked the fence on those ridges, you can never dial them in, I've never been able to get it closer than like, uh, you know, six, 10 to 6, it's about 10 thousandths of an inch, and there's always play on the back end. Uh, you know, on the back end of the fence, there's always wiggle, and if you're shoving a big piece of plywood through it or something, it just moves, and it's, yeah, I just never cared for that, and so rather than going and, you know, buying another rigid and then upgrading the fence, I just, I, uh, I talked to a few people about this Delta, they said there was, you know, they had great, uh, great uh, success with the fences, so when I had the fence problem, when I first bought this, I was like, oh man, I was mad, but now it's working, you know, and I got that piece made, and dialed it right in and it's nice and sturdy and I'm not going to have to worry about that. So I'm excited about having an, an upgrade saw in the shop and I'm really going to need it for some projects. And So that's really what's going on. Uh, I'm back to me, back to my normal crazy randomness. So that'll just start seeing videos on a very regular basis again for me, two, three a week, one a week, whatever I can manage over the next few weeks. And then when Danielle's uh, schedule calms down, oh, you know, the two or three a week on average. So, and I, I've spent a lot of time over the last five weeks putting effort into learning how to do the plans properly and make them really nice for everybody. So, uh, when I do a project that requires plans, there will be plans there when the project comes up. I'm not going to make you sit around. I'm not going to say, hey, I'll have them done in five or six months and then not get to them here a year later. You know, like the bull blaster that everybody keeps bugging me about. <laughs> I will have plans for that eventually, but I've made some significant changes to it. And um, I, when the spirit moves me, I will build the new one and get plans up for it. And that's all I can say about that. So, but 
Some really cool jigs coming down the pipe that will help uh, anybody who's interested in making them really help improve some of their woodworking. We're going to be talking about some skill building stuff and some other great fun projects here on Think Woodworks or on over there on Think Woodworks. So anyway, thanks for watching. I hope everybody's having a great week and we'll talk to you real soon.